Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and it is 5.43 a.m. March 21st. Holy shiz, this is my brother's birthday actually. March 21st. Wow. I almost forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually started this tutorial at 11.50ish p.m. March 20th. And I was just about to go to bed, but I was just like, well, let me check what Codecademy has. And I guess most people don't realize this, but Codecademy is secretly updating their PHP track. So, but you can't access all of their PHP, which kind of like pisses me off. I mean, it doesn't piss me off, but it's just like a bit confusing because as you can see here, they 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 kind of switched around. They started with number one, introduction to PHP, and then they started with they they skipped to number two, and just went straight to number three. They skipped to number four, and went to loops, and even more loops, and that's pretty much all they have done so far. Um. Yeah. So. My first video, it took me 20 minutes to get it done, and I and I kind of messed up on the last um, exercise of this section. So I will teach you guys how to avoid it. And I actually had to go ask for help, kind of embarrassing, but it's it's whatever. So starting off, they want us to do something that we haven't learned in PHP because they haven't written it, quite honestly. But if you know any type of programming language, they are pretty much all the same. Um, don't get fooled. So let me type in something like age equals. You now, if you don't know what I'm doing, I will explain it really quick, briefly. But I do highly recommend that you go back to my previous tutorial. Um, age equals, let's say something like three, and it's basically if age is greater than three this is what happens echo you're a big kid so what else happens if age is not greater than three oh, okay well this happens it echoes you're still a baby. Okay, so what we have set up is um, Code Academy already sets up the HTML. All we have to do is input the PHP here. Like I said before, the question mark really starts it. It's question mark PHP. We're creating a variable, and how you create a variable is by using a dollar sign and then naming the variable. So, dollar sign age. So this variable me this is the name for this variable age equals three and if age is greater than three echo out which basically means print out you're a big kid now if it's not it's going to print out you're still a baby let's check the video preview which i don't like the video i don't like this um preview by co academy i would much rather prefer it on the right side of the screen but I guess they don't agree with me. Nothing is actually printed out on the screen. Let's just submit the code and check out what's going on. Oh, I have to, I just realized that I have to um, do an else if statement. So, else if Oh no. So if age is greater than three, echo out you're a big kid. But else if basically means if if age is less than two, it's going to print out you're so tiny. And the else is if these two are not right, then it's going to print out you're still a baby. So first option, second option, this is just default. 
let's check the video preview and it still does not change it's it's whatever though submit the code and we get the green check mark we're golden moving on here we're working with um switch statements now I don't know if they taught us switch statements in the previous tutorial which they have not uploaded yet but I'm going to basically break it down for all of you guys um you don't have to do anything for this um, exercise it's already done for you but here you create a variable you give it a value now this is how you do a switch statement you type in switch parentheses as if you were writing an if statement and your variable name and you basically type in a curly braces make sure that you have even curly braces case which means if think of case as if if this variable equals zero it's going to echo 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 out on the screen the value of i is zero and break basically means that if if it's right if if i equals zero it's not even going to bother checking if i equals one or two because it will have already known that it has the right answer so why waste time now a switch statement is basically a cleaner version of an if statement you can see it better as um as you can all see here it's pretty simple it gets it gets complicated later on but switch statements are usually are, are usually more helpful but like if statements are are short and concise as you can see here a, a switch statement you'd probably have to write way more lines of code than you actually need to if you would have just written it with an if statement so save and submit and we get the green check mark we are all good to go now for number three switch syntax it basically they basically want us to write our own um, switch statement by getting rid of the underscore and and put in let's say this case and we want to input a break and we also want to do our own so let's they they want us to use default so default yuck if I can spell it right how about those Miami Heat they beat um they beat Cleveland I don't know why but Miami always struggles with Cleveland it, it's it's ironic so let me see if the video oh printed out on the screen yummy because like I said before you can do um you can do if statements with strings and strings are basically text so it's not just defined to numbers it's it's checking this variable which has a string inside of it and it's saying if if the variable fruit contains this apple look how it's spelled identical then it's going to echo out on the screen yummy break means if it if this is all true it's going to stop if it's not it's just going to echo out yuck submit the code and here we oh I got I got a red so I forgot to put in a break submit the code and we are good to go Moving on from number four, multiple cases falling through. Now, it's basically the same thing, but they just want to challenge us and make sure that we can really handle this. So, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am extremely lazy. I like to copy and paste my way through things. It's not really what you want to do if you want a job as a programmer, but it's 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 whatever. Um, so copy and paste this. What I'm basically doing is I'm changing the numbers. So if case one, um, if i equals one, it's basically going to echo while um, i is somewhere between one and one, and one and two. I changed the last number to fit the case number. So three, change this to a three, and four, change this to a four, and make sure you work on six, like you might, you might, um, six is down there, so please 
do not forget about the number six let's view the preview and there we go there we go save and submit keep going and we get the green check mark we are all good to go so what what an end switch is is it's it's the same thing except you do you do two things differently you actually do one thing dif well two things differently a you get rid of the curly braces and the top one the top curly brace which starts everything you get rid of it and you put a colon and for the bottom one that closes everything out oh okay my computer did not just freeze embarrassing okay for the last one you basically exchange the last the last curly brace um for something called end switch now they both do the same exact thing except I guess this kind of looks fancier I, I, don't, I don't know it's the same thing um honestly see how we get the same results it's the same exact thing I, I guess you guys can look into that I, I'm just moving along so moving on to the next lesson we're working with number six now this is a uh, an example of how case statements and switch statements switch statements can be complicated and complex it's checking basically this whole thing is checking basically if if I contains um more than 30 characters so like more than 30 letters or numbers or if I contains one number so one way to get around this is just to put one number um number one save and submit we get the green check mark and there we have it oh string string length basically means string on um, since we're working with a string it counts how many um, numbers are inside of the string so that's for any of you guys who don't who didn't pick that up moving on to number seven we're all on our own and I this is where I did actually mess up so um let's work on it age whoops age equals I'm not working with an, a big number so yeah switch we are switching age yeah I actually did that right I did that right actually um so we are working with case let's say case equals one what do we want to echo out on the screen um echo out you are one year old one years old one year old you are a one year old infant If age equals two, echo out, you're two years old. And let's have the default. And make, I forgot, but make sure you break them. Um, so echo, you're a big kid. So make sure you break, whoops. Submit, and we get this, we get this error message that says, make sure you have three case blocks. Now I, I quite honestly do not understand what it means um but i will i will show you guys what i did for the quick fix but i want to try something before i do it i want to see if it's either because i i um i use the string case or if i just use three cases because right now i still have 
I, I guess they don't count default as a case. So save and submit after we break it. We get the green check mark. Okay, so I guess I, in my previous one, I did have three cases, so that's a little bit weird. But it's whatever. Um, so we can go back to PHP and continue working on whatever we want to work on. Add, like, subscribe, comment down below. This is Henry1502 Inc. Make sure to check out my command prop tutorials. I know that there's like one video in there, but there will be more. Um, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm out.